how do you navigate a fear of losing your job using NLP? Well, I'm going to infuse a little bit of um, positive psychology, a little bit of neuroscience in there too, so you get a better understanding as to why and how this pattern works. Now, when we're afraid, we are typically, uh, most of us, um, are in the first perceptual position of NLP. And that is the perception of looking through your own eyes. So you, you hear what you would hear, you feel what you would feel, you see what you would see, you would smell and taste what you would smell and taste. In this case, since we're talking about fear, it's the worst case scenario. And the worst case scenario of the future being painful somehow, so we are fear it. Now what happens in the brain, the fear center of the brain turns on, our amygdala, and then technically our prefrontal cortex is supposed to shut that down. So that's the logical part of the brain. Now if we keep ruminating or we keep fantasizing about that worst case scenario, what happens is that amygdala is going to keep turning on and depending on your mental health, uh, your ability to, for your prefrontal, prefrontal cortex to shut that down, it could be some, somewhat being sticky a little bit with you. Yeah, it depends on how much stress you've been experiencing, the health of your brain, things like that. So maybe you're just a little bit of a worry word, and that, best, that worst case scenario becomes a real thing for you. So that doom scenario. Now in emotional intelligence, we have a concept called, an element called reality testing. And, and, and what reality testing is about as a marker of emotional intelligence, it is about um, is your impression or your perception of what's going on, um, your fantasy of what's going on, is that conformed with what's factually actually is going on. So reality testing in a place of fear is extremely difficult. So in this pattern, I'm going to use a technique of positive psychology and NLP, NLP combined, as most of you know that I like to do these types of things. Um, so in positive psychology, there is an exercise that where you explore what's the worst case scenario, what specifically, if you want to NLP it up, is the worst case scenario, what specifically is then the best case scenario, that's the second question. And then the third question is what specifically would be the most likely scenario. Now you can see how in this situation of the fear of losing your job and having to navigate that is where we're already assuming um, that you're in the worst case scenario. Yeah. And so in that sense, your brain is experiencing that negative scenario in the future as if it's real. Now, one thing that you kind of need to think about before doing this pattern, we're going to start with the best case scenario. But what is the best case scenario for you? Is it actually keeping your job? Uh, because you know that there's a chance that you be maybe not part of that cut that has to leave. Um, maybe you get to stay. Or maybe your best case scenario is actually getting a big fat redundancy package or something like that and find a new job or maybe even start a business or something like that. And so that would be a great opportunity. I actually started my business, Global NLP Training, and I'm here on, in LA right now, by the way, on Venice Beach, which is where we hold the training at least once a year, um, next to Bali and Mexico and, and Amsterdam. We're actually looking at some, some, some new locations as well. We also do it online, by the way, uh, NLP Training. And so, um, so you, maybe that's the best case scenario, a big fat redundancy package for you to start your new company. Now, so I, I let you, you could do both by the way, you can just to make sure uh, your brain will not object to it, uh, trust me. And so instead of experiencing this from the first perceptual position, it's maybe a little tough if you're really afraid. I actually want you to imagine that you could float your awareness out of your body and place yourself in the third perceptual position, which means you're looking uh, at yourself. You could even imagine sitting in a movie theater and on the projection screen in that movie theater, 
is you experiencing the best case scenario. And, and the reason why I'm asking you to do that is to see another option here. But without getting too attached to it in terms of expectation, that would happen if I would place you in the first perceptual position, experiencing the best case scenario as a real thing. But I'm actually wanting to you to do it not emotionally the third perceptual position as an observer and I want you to roll that movie now I want you to see what that would be like now okay so now I want you to actually think about another piece of this. So we naturally assume that you are thinking in the worst case scenario. Now I want you to think in the, in the best case scenario. So now we're actually going to watch also from the third perceptual position. I want you to watch the most likely scenario. And I want you to notice what specifically is the most likely scenario, properly reality tested from a logical point of view. And you can see how that brings other ideas into your space. And you should notice that also as a result of this entire exercise, the fear would drop. Now, because in the third perceptual position, you cannot feel fear. Anyway, so, so you can see how in this little video, I pulled in emotional intelligence, I pulled in positive psychology, the worst case scenario, the best case scenario, most likely scenario. You can even sit down with yourself and journal that, those steps out. Uh, and, and I combined the perceptual positions of NLP. And you can see the power of that. Now, it's important to also understand that what you're looking for is a sense of control. The reason why you're fearful is because you're looking at those things that you cannot control, the decision of your employer. Now, remember, no one likes a prisoner at work. No one likes that. If you become that angry prisoner before the decision is made who stays or who goes, I promise you, um, you're going to be on that list of the people who goes. And unless you're like a mega top player who they super want to keep and maybe move into another job or to stop, or stop from you being a prisoner. The important thing is, and this is maybe easier to do from the third perceptual position, is that you think about what would the ideal employee look like who wants to stay. Um, you know, that's a, that's a thing and become that person. Maybe you need to lay low and not express your emotions all the time and your anger all the time and your gossip all the time with the people in, in who, who are also prisoners at your place of work. And, and so in that space, start thinking about, well, what is it that I can control here? And what it is that you can control is updating your resume and what you can't control is, is to be the most ideal employee. What you can control is maybe thinking about how likely it is that you're going to lose your job. What are things that you can't control? Maybe it is your family that you can't control, your personal life that you can't control. Maybe you'll be fine either way. And that's a thing that I want you to explore. If you need some excellent free goal setting visualization, or a free ebook on how to use NLP with seven exercises or a lot of other free resources. Go to globalnlptraining.com backslash simply and we'll find over 1500 free resources. Or come train with us and um, in Bali, Amsterdam, Los Angeles, um, Mexico, or any of the destinations that we soon want to open up. See you around.